Now, sit back, relax, and enjoy the lesson. Now, we all know that there are different types of modifiers. When we say modifiers, these are describing words. This could be single word modifiers or one word, phrasal modifiers, and of course, clausal modifiers. These are the three different types of modifiers. Now, let's go to single word modifiers. When we say single word modifiers, one word. So when I say modifier, it could be an adjective or an adverb. But first, let's recap all about adjectives. So adjectives, as we all know, describe nouns. In here, what is the adjective in this sentence? George was merely anxious to get on his way. Yes, you are correct. The adjective here is anxious. How about number two? What is the adjective for sentence number two? The highly emotive actor gave a wonderful performance. Yes, you are correct. We have here emotive describing the word actor and then we have another one wonderful modifying the noun performance. And as we all know, adjectives may describe noun or pronouns. In here, he is inquisitive. The adjective here is inquisitive, modifying the pronoun he. So, this would be all about single word modifier. How about for adverbs? Adverbs modify verbs, adjectives, or another adverb. For number one, we have, she walks slowly. What is the adverb here? You are correct. It is slowly. Sentence number two. The students find the test very easy. What's the adverb? Correct. Hello there. Welcome back to our grammar lesson. This is Almira 7. Now, last meeting, we discussed all about clauses, and now this time, we're going to go back to other types of modifiers. Now, sit back, relax, and listen well. Now, there are different types of modifiers. These modifiers can be in different forms, but still functioning as describing words or group of words. We have here, first one, single word modifiers, phrasal modifiers, and lastly, colossal modifiers. Now, when we say modifier, we are referring to adjectives and adverbs. Well, when we say single word or one word, these are adjectives. Now, for the first sentence, remember, that adjectives may describe nouns or pronouns. For number one, what is the adjective? Yes, you are correct. Anxious. How about number two? The highly emotive actor gave a wonderful performance. What is or what are the adjectives? Correct. You have here emotive and the other one, wonderful. How about for the last sentence? He is inquisitive. The adjective? Correct. We have inquisitive. Modifying the pronoun he. How about for sentence number two? Anxious, referring to what or to whom? To George. So anxious here describes the word anxious describes George. How about for this second sentence? We have here modifying actor. What kind of actor? And then the last one we have here wonderful modifying the noun performance. So when we say adjective or an adjective describes nouns or pronouns. Now, 
Let's go to another type of modifier, what we call, or another one word modifier, what we call adverbs. Adverbs modify verbs, adjectives, or another adverb. We have here sentence number one, she walks slowly. What is the adverb? You are correct, slowly, modifying the verb walks. How did she, how does she walk? Slowly. How about second sentence? What is the adverb here? Very. Correct. Modifying the adjective easy. How easy? Easy rather. Very. So that's why very is your adverb because it modifies an adjective easy how about the last sentence the movie was not too terribly long the adjective long and what is the adverb terribly to and not 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 to refers to 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 refers to terribly and then long is what we call an adjective so if you try to look at this one, not too terribly modifying the adjective long. Not as an adverb modifying an adjectives. What I'm trying to emphasize is that adverb, adverbs can also modify another adverb. So that would be for single word modifiers. So when I say single word modifiers or one word modifiers, we are talking about adverbs and adjectives. But take note that adjectives or modifiers or adverbs may also or can be written also in different forms. And that would be in a form of a phrase. When we say phrase, a group of words or more than a word. So what do you mean by phrases? A phrase is a group of words without subject and verb. Functions in a sentence as a single part of speech cannot stand alone as an independent unit. So that is a phrase or in short, they may be a part of a sentence, cannot stand by itself and of course, group of words or more than a word now there are different kinds of phrases let us recap all about different kinds of phrases a phrase can be an appositive prepositional or verbal under verbals we have gerund participial and infinitive and a lot more but i'm going to just show you here the different phrases but there are other phrases too. So we have here three plus three verbal phrases, which are also called phrases, of course. But out of that, only prepositional and verbal phrases in a form of participial and infinitive may function as a modifier. Now, a positive, let me just go back, a positive in gerund cannot be considered as modifiers because they do not function as an adverb or an adjective. They function as nouns. That's why we're not going to include a positive in gerund as another type of modifier, what we call phrasal modifiers. So only three types of modifiers under phrases or under three types of phrases can be used as phrases to, to function as an adjective or adverb. We have prepositional, participial, and infinitive. Now, let's focus first on prepositional phrase. How can we identify prepositional phrase? Well, a prepositional phrase is a phrase that begins with a preposition and ends with a noun or a pronoun called the object of the preposition. 
So the form would be preposition plus object of the preposition. Or preposition, then we can add adjectives plus noun or pronoun. Remember, a prepositional phrase begins with a preposition and always, always a prepositional phrases always ends with a noun or a pronoun or they are always preceded by a noun or a pronoun. A preposition cannot live without an object and that object is either a noun or a pronoun. So how does or how do we use prepositional phrase in a sentence or prepositional phrases in a sentence? They can be used as an adjective or an adverb. That's why they are also part of or they can also type of phrasal modifiers. Let us continue here. What is the first to identify prepositional phrase? You have to look for the preposition. For number one, the book on my table is Lisa's property. What is the preposition here? You have the preposition on. Remember, prepositional phrase is always preceded by a noun or a pronoun. So the object of on here is table. And then in between, we have the modifiers also an adjective, possessive adjective, my. On my table is your prepositional phrase. How would you know it's a prepositional phrase? Again, you have there the preposition and its object. That's why on my table is your prepositional phrase. How about number two? Still the same. On is your preposition and then table is your object. That's why on my table is your prepositional phrase. Now the question is, how do these prepositional phrases function in a sentence? For number one, what is the word modified by the phrase on my table? You are correct. You are on my table refers to the subject book. Which book are you referring? The book on my table. So this one on my table refers to the subject book, which is a noun that makes this prepositional phrase as an adjective since it modifies the subject book a noun therefore this prepositional phrase again functions as an adjective how about sentence number two lisa left her book on my table on my table is also your prepositional phrase the question is what is the word modified by this prepositional phrase? Does it refer to the word book? What kind of book? On my table? But rather, on my table refers to the verb left. Left where? On my table. Lisa left her book on my table. Rather than what kind of book on my table, rather on my table modifies the verb left. Left where? On my table. So this prepositional phrase functions as an adverb because it modifies the verb left and answers the question where. 